Chase 26, we have been too independent, uh, too dependent on technology at an exponential rate the last two to three decades. Yeah. And it's been becoming more and more centralized, right? Like my thesis, well, one of my main themes has been regarding the two, uh, the 2000 bubble tech bubble that burst was that that bubble burst because centralized power could not allow technology companies to emerge that they did not control so what they did they raised interest rates extremely fast so any company that was overextended and their clients were overextended it was a chain reaction collapsed a lot of tech companies there were a lot of companies making a lot of computers a lot of everything technology that wasn't centralized that didn't have a tracking system on it that had privacy uh part of the system and anybody part of the system right and they raised interest rates extremely fast so they could collapse the whole thing and monopolize all those patents and technology and stuff like this where now you have a handful of people creating computers handful of people creating handsets handful of people in control most of the uh, tech that we use to do whatever all right they raised them so fast and people got so screwed they collapsed one of the largest companies one of the biggest tech companies in the world with nortel networks in canada right people didn't see it coming too bad for them so to answer your question lord of thunder how do you think the current geopolitical climate will affect global econo economic stability right now what's happening right now is a couple of orders a hundred times more important more uh, life-changing than what happened during the tech bubble right if you want to call it tech bubble